Hello everyone, this is Oshini from Chinta.com. Today we will talk about one of the crown jewels of number theory. This is known as quadratic quadratic reciprocity. So if you are doing mathematical Olympiad for some time and you are interested in number theory, you have, must have heard about quadratic reciprocity, one of the fundamental theorems in elementary number theory. It was first proved by one of the greatest mathematicians of all time, Gauss. And in a couple of videos, I plan to share this wonderful theory with all of you. Um, it will be a little hard, but uh, at the end of it, Happiness is promised. It's so beautiful. So let's start with the very first notion. The notion of a quadratic residue. Quadratic residue. And um, I will break it down and make it very simple. I'll use an example. Example. So... Let's take the number 7. The question is, if you take a square number and divide it by 7, what are the possible remainders? So, if I, for example, if I take the number 4 and make a square of it and divide that by 7, what is the remainder? So let's do that. Uh, six. This is 16. And if I divide 16 by 7, the remainder is 2. Now, those of you know modular arithmetic, you know that this can be written as like this. 4 square is congruent to 2 mod 7. So this is very simple. It's a different way of writing what is written here that is the difference of 4 square and 2 the difference between those two numbers is divisible by 7 so in this particular case 2 is a quadratic residue a quadratic residue mod 7 2 is a quadratic residue mod 7. Quadratic residue means it's a remainder of a square. It's a fancy way of saying 2 is a remainder residue of a quadratic, a square number. Okay? So 2 is a quadratic residue mod 7. Now there is something called that we will be using, something called Legendre symbol. Legendre symbol. Again, very simple. We write it as 2 by 7 is equal to 1. So how do you read this? You read this as 2 is, so this, this little bar, the division kind looking sign, is just a short form of is mod 7 the lower number yes one says yes it is a quadratic residue so indeed 2 is a quadratic residue modulo 7 ok alright so let's let's test out with some other numbers. Let's try with 5. Okay. So let's square the number 5. So 5 square that is equal to 25. If I divide 25 by 7, the remainder is 4. Right? Or 5 square is congruent to 4 modulo 7. Again. 
if you divide the difference of 5 square and 4, the difference of 5 square and 4, if you divide by that by 7, it will be perfectly divisible. That's what it means. The difference of left and the right is divisible by this number. It is a shorthand way of writing this. Okay. So, but what do we get? We get again. 4 is a quadratic residue residue of 7. So we found two different quadratic residues, 2 and 4. We found two different quadratic residues of 7. So we can again write 4 is modulo 7 a quadratic residue. 4 is modulo 7. This is just the is. The division sign is is. Okay. I, I'm, I just think like that. Okay. So 4 is modulo 7 a quadratic residue. And that that yes it is a quadratic residue is given by the number 1. So just, just the other one will be just the number minus 1. So, if I write a by p is equal to minus 1, this is again the Legendre symbol, then a is not a quadratic residue um, module of p. Okay? This means a is not a quadratic residue mod p. Okay, 